The process of reinventing yourself is nothing new to people who trade, but it it's so painful. There's so much growth in it, and you feel alone when you're doing it. Like no one can understand how you would how you feel, and it's only you going through it. But I think you know, think about companies, public companies. They reinvent themselves every decade. So, you know, shave a few years off or add a few years on, but roughly speaking, and human beings, the same thing. They say all the cells in your body turn over every seven years, so you almost feel like a different person to some extent. And I'm going through it right now. I'm choosing to reinvent myself to some extent. I've date, I've, I have my, I don't even know the number, fifty, sixty, seventy thousand hours of day trading under my belt, and some swing trading and, and some other things. I've done some investments, but I'm reinventing myself and working with some some people, some friends on the future. And what I mean by that is like technology and different trends in society and these big monumental things like electric vehicles and solar and whatever, autonomous driving. Um, there's themes all the time. They pop up every few years. But I love that stuff, and I've always enjoyed it. You know, cryptocurrencies when that started was another one, and that's become more mainstream now a little bit. But and I love researching that stuff. I love investing in it, studying it. But I have this training as a trader, so I want to put the two together and kind of extend my time frame a little, have a little less screen time actually trading, and do more digging and understanding. So yeah, that's sometimes I I don't know exactly how to do that, but naturally it's something I'm drawn to. So the next phase of my career is working into that space a little bit more. And so I'm doing a lot of reading and talking to people, understanding how technology works, where the big areas we're going to break through um, in the next five years, 10 years, and surrounding myself with those resources and those people who think that way and using what what I've already learned in trading to kind of help me get in better entries and do a little bit of positioning and kind of trading it as I invest in it and combine the two together. So it's my own unique approach that I'm working towards. And it's a little different than what I used to do, but it's kind of pulling on the same skill set. But back to the original thought of reinventing yourself, yeah, it's, it's tough. There's days where you don't know. You just want to crawl back into your hole and do what's comfortable to you. You want to just feel you know, safe. And everyone wants to feel that way. That's why people resist change. That's why people doubt new trends. They doubt things that are going to be drastically different than they've been in the past. And then it catches everyone off guard when it happens. So it's, that's life. And I think that's part of what makes, I think that's why we're here as human beings to some extent is to continue to evolve ourselves, to evolve other people, to be in projects that evolve things that push humanity forward. And we all have our little corner to do that. And that's, that's what I tell myself when I struggle with it because I'm having a little bit of a struggle with it today where I kind of don't know exactly what to do to further my cause of where I want to go. Um, and so I'm on here talking to everyone else about it because I think that I'm not alone in feeling some, I don't know what the word is, some, uh, I, fuck me, man, uh, reservations or insecurities or just shakiness around pushing yourself to an area that you don't really know how it's going to end up for you. And you kind of make that choice or sometimes you're forced into that choice. I'm making the choice. I've also had times where I've I've been forced into it. And urgency can be a good thing. Sometimes when you're choosing from your own, like when you're choosing something that it's like going into a grocery store and you want to buy a peanut butter, but you look and there's 50 cans of peanut butter on the shelf you can't choose, so you walk out of the store and you choose nothing. But if there's three, you're going to take it. So that can be the problem with, oh, you know, what what market do I want to trade? Do I want to trade FX or gold or stocks? Or And you start to just bounce from one to the other and you have no idea where to go. And then you're second guessing and you're running into like, you know, some somebody you read online who's doing it this way. And then eventually you kind of settle in and find yourself. So that's what I'm going through a little bit right now.